Welcome to the Kareem Report, a.k.a. Mr. 100 Likes. How you guys doing? Wow. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. I want to touch on the Kwame Brown, Charleston White situation. Uh, Kwame Brown, Charleston White uh, developed uh, some type of relationship, friendship in the past couple weeks. Uh, Kwame Brown went out to Texas to, to meet uh, Charleston White to talk some business about uh, doing community work. Um, Charleston White came on Kwame Brown platform. Uh, Kwame Brown seemed to have uh, some respect, and and it's like he was, he like uh, Charleston White. He spoke highly of Charleston White, different things like that. So last night, Charleston White came on the platform. I mean, well, interview whatever he did, whatever that was, but he was talking to somebody and he was asking questions, and he said the reason why he can't rock with Kwame Brown, and he was just pretty much going in but what he was doing he was trying to say oh i like kwame brown but i don't like his manager so he's trying to put it on like he's going at kwame brown manager but it was like sneak this and kwame i ain't gonna say sneak this because it was what it was and me personally i didn't like it i don't like it because i think that charleston white is a lane for that um if you don't rock with him you don't, you don't even have to go public and say it Regardless of his manager, nothing you don't like his manager. He tried to hide behind the uh, Kwame Brown manager. Said this is the reason why he's doing it. He don't like his manager, but he was pretty much going in on Kwame. He was saying that you know uh, Kwame ain't doing the work. Kwame be online arguing with with peons, little guys, and he felt like Kwame Brown used him. Kwame Brown platform was going down, and that he needed him to bring it back up. They, why Kwame Brown come all the way out to Texas where he could have stayed in his own city and, and did community work there. And he was just pretty much going in. But then he said, I love Kwame Brown. I love him. It's not about him, his manager. Oh, he was going in on his manager. But I think uh, that that's a, that's why, I, me personally, I hate when someone do a video and they talk to the people like the people stupid. Like, like people could see that straight through that bullshit all that i like him i love for kwame it's not about him it's about stop it but you're going in on him and i think this going to really kind of put the nail in the coffin with kwame because here's somebody else that was close to, i didn't say close to him but he was working with and he he's just cool with him and someone coming out against him now like kwame uh a lot of his people i can say yeah a lot of his people um support Kwame because they feel that he's for the people about the coal and the trade and different things like that and Charleston White just came and just just went against all that saying Kwame ain't doing no work he don't see nothing he doing so it, it's bad because now it looked like now Kwame tell us the people watching that you know he what he doing behind the scenes so now technically nobody don't know Cause you don't know really what somebody doing behind the scenes, but then when you get with somebody for a couple weeks and and you gotta you know open them, have conversations and show them what you doing, what they doing, and for Charleston White to say Kwame Brown ain't doing nothing, so now it it, it goes against everything Kwame Brown was saying, cause now a lot of people was thought that he was doing a lot of things behind the scenes, and now this guy just say he ain't doing nothing, so that looks bad, cause you gotta open yourself up. Especially when you see somebody one-on-one -on -one and, and you're trying to collab with somebody. You got to be like, look, this is what I'm doing. You got to show them what you're doing. And and, and you get more of a real deal from a person than, you know, you just saying it. So now, Charleston White comes off as like, wow. Like, he exposing this man, but he coming off in a nice way. Not like he being trying to be real mean and, and vindictive, but he being sneaky about it. And... And a lot of little slick shit I didn't like he, he was doing when he was saying, oh, you know, I don't friends with tall niggas and stuff like that. Like, I, 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 Charleston White is a snake to me. I think he's a clown. I, I just don't like it. Like, some people like all this for entertainment and they, they get down on this and, and like it. But I'm seeing more guys coming out and you see the weakness in them. Like, he trying to come off a grandstand like, yo, I'm not with all that. Um, talking about other niggas 
every day Kwame being online, talk about dudes. I don't like to be around a lot of dudes. The conversation but but sort of been about men Kwame and he invite up all these dudes up on, on, on the um panel and I, I don't what or he trying to come off like he's some real nigga and, and be like I ain't with all hang with niggas and doing all this stuff there. But you turn around and do clown shit. You didn't have to say that. You could have went behind the scenes and said, yo, Kwame, you know, I respect you, but I don't think, you know what I mean, we don't need to, uh, I, I don't really want to work with you. I'm just going to do my own thing in Texas. No hard feelings. I don't rock with your manager. I don't feel how you feel about the manager. But I, you could have said that behind the scenes. For him to come out and say that, like, nobody, whatever y'all was doing behind the scenes, y'all didn't have to publicize it anyway. So nobody really was going to go in and be like, let me see the work what y'all doing. So you didn't have to say that. Like I said, I, I can imagine right now, I know Kwame's sick right now. He could probably act like he's not sick, but I know right now he feel like the walls and everything crashing down on him because he done opened himself up with some lames and by him opening himself some lames, they all coming back at him. Like, you know, Mr. Skinny, the minute something happened, he came around and, and he don't, he don't, you know what I mean? Kwame Brown showed him love, Charleston White, like, you know what I mean? Maybe other people that I probably don't even know of, but it just crashing down on him. And true, yeah, his numbers went down. And, and, and see, this is the thing where I want to um, say to you guys, man. And this is where Kwame Brown went wrong. See, people always say, oh, numbers don't lie. And people put numbers as an N or B or, but to me, numbers it just what it is is numbers. But let me tell you, when I said when I had uh, I didn't say issue with Kwame, but the stuff I didn't like what, what Kwame was doing with the Gilbert situation, I never want not one time disrespect Kwame, and Kwame said some things about me, but he never mentioned my name. See, this where he went wrong at. See, he thinking. Oh, he looked at my subscribers. He probably like, well, this guy only got a couple thousand subscribers. Oh, I'm not going to say his name. It don't benefit him. Instead of him looking at what type of, oh, this dude's a real dude and, and, and listen to what I'm kicking. See, this is what numbers don't show you. It show you I got a couple thousand subscribers, but it don't show you what type of real dude I am. Now, I went to the approach. I was never, never. Went at it laughing and clowning Kwame Brown out. When I said something about Kwame Brown, I was just saying, yo, squash with Gilbert, make things right. It's not cool, blah, blah, blah. I was supporting you. I was rocking with you. You know, Gilbert ain't really say nothing in the um, Vlad interview. I came at it at that perspective. You know what I mean? I still never, like I said, disrespect him. He didn't look at that. He All he looked at that he felt that I'm going against him. So he was talking about me, saying a little shit. Uh, put me on week wins, uh, week weasel Wednesdays and all this stuff there, but he never said my name because he think I don't want to clout him up, cause you like it didn't benefit you to say cause you look that oh this guy only got a couple thousand subscribers, but you line yourself with skinny, cause you looked at it as how many thousand subscribers he had eighteen nineteen thousand subscribers the time you probably met him. And you probably thought it's beneficial, but you, you have to look at my character. See, this is where the numbers don't show. You know what I mean? You looked at his character, you would have seen it a mile away. You could see suckers a mile away. I could see suckers a mile away. You know what I mean? So he keep getting himself caught up in this stuff because he looking at things, how it benefit him, and he lined himself up with suckers. You know what I mean? Oh, he looked at Skinny. Oh, he got this many um, subscribers. It's decent. Kwame numbers dropping. I align myself with him, but you lined yourself with a, with a, with a, with a creep. You know what I mean? Oh, Charleston White, this, then the third. Charleston White is a, it's a creep. Like, I, I don't know what you, everybody, and you know what's crazy? Charleston White said, I don't know if we, if he said it in the beginning. He said, you know, yeah, I'm working with Kwame. Um, I don't know if we're going to turn out to this. I'm not going to say we're going to be friends. I don't know how the outcome going to be. For him to say that, like, you know what I mean? It goes to show he 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 do double talking. And, and like I said, you just can't, you know, rock with guys like that. Like, you know what I mean? You could have continued doing whatever you was doing. That was that. You supposed to know him better. That's that's the difference. Now, let's say you had was rocking with a, a nigga like me. You know what I mean? And we built something. I would have definitely probably encouraged you to go off from a lot of that shit 
you was doing because I, I knew it was going to crash on you. You cannot win. A guy like Tommy Sotomayor, right? You're not winning nothing with him. Tommy Sotomayor, I got a couple, a few with 3,000 subscribers, over 3,000 subscribers, right? And I know it'd benefit me if Tommy would say my name and he'd go back and forth. I wouldn't fuck with no Tommy. Like, I wouldn't go back and forth with no Tommy Sotomayor. I'm, I'm, I'm smart enough to know I don't got no wins with this guy here. The guy good at what he do. He has, like, to me, bitch ways to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? And he gonna keep coming. He's he's, he's, he's funny. And I, I, I'm not gonna do it. I will buy a lot. I, that's why I said all money. Like they said, all money, not good money. All publicity. People say all... Uh, I have FBG duck mom, like, shit, I don't care. It's publicity. All publicity is good publicity. That's not true. All publicity is not good publicity. All money is not good money. It, you have to, you know... Figure out what's good and what's not. You have to know these things, you know. Um, and and Kwame probably thought all oh, puts a good puts the go at Tommy. You don't go at a guy like Tommy. You don't. You you fall back and be like, yo, I'm gonna let this this dude be. This dude is something different. Like you know what I'm saying? I knew it was gonna be a loser fight. And he said he said he's gonna walk him down, drag him. He gonna walk him down, and that's exactly what he did. You know what I'm saying? And and, and see with Kwame Brown thought he when he went at Matt Barnes and Stephen Jackson the difference is Matt Barnes Stephen Jackson they they still getting money they still especially Matt Barnes in the NBA circle far as he he worked in ESPN he worked with um Fox he he hopped around on panels with like major networks TV he don't really have time he not and, and Matt Barnes got some 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 realness to him he not gonna keep going back and forth with him, he got sense enough to know I'm not gonna do it. Steven Jackson, they not gonna say but too much. So, and you saying I'm um, jumping, bounced around Becky with the good head, and you 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 dragged them around. People was loving it because Matt Bonds and Steven Jackson both come off as this tough guy image, and now here's you saying you will, will beat them up and do this. So a lot of people was cheering that, and then the Bucky for good head, it was funny, and you talk about Derek Fisher banging his wife, all that was cool. But you had to know who to do it to. Gilbert, you should have known that. You was teammates with Gilbert. You say all the time, Gilbert an asshole. Gilbert a clown. You not going to win a guy with a battle like that. Gilbert don't think he's tough. Gilbert said in the beginning of the thing, when they first started, Gilbert said, leave Kwame alone. I'm not fucking with Kwame Brown. Kwame Brown, shit, he hit with my ass. So automatically, so now the, 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 the stuff that you had people laughing about, talk about bouncing them. Um, beating Steven Jackson up and, and, and Matt Barnes that they not tough and it's not those same of uh, uh, words is not going to affect with Gilbert. Everybody on the outside look at oh, you talk about beating Gilbert up is, is you ain't getting no points off that. Like okay, that's Gilbert Arenas. Gilbert Arenas said you'll whip his ass. So you, you should have never never went at Gilbert. That's what I'm saying. I was if I was fucking Kwame, his manager, whoever, I'd have been like leave that alone. Car scene on them, they should have stopped that early. Be like, yo, it's not worth it. Like, like I said, all money and good money. You went with that. You kept poking him. Now, he got some money. He got a couple of dollars. He has a hell of a personality. Gilbert has a hell of his personality. He's funny. And he don't care. Stuff don't bother him. So he, he will laugh at his own self. He don't care. Like, he makes jokes on himself. He don't care. With a guy like that, you don't have no wins with. See, this is what I'm saying. Kwame had to understand when to pick his battles, when not to pick his battles. You don't got no wins with a guy like Gilbert once he get in his bag. You got him mad. He went in his bag. It's really nothing you can say. You call him a punk. Oh, yeah, them guys pressure you in the club. That didn't move nothing. Because Gilbert comes off like, Shit, I'm not fighting him. He even said that even the time he's like, oh, I ain't passed um, Brenda Haywood the ball. And, and I, I said something slick about Brenda Haywood. He came banging on my hotel door. I'm like, I'm not opening the door for you. All right, all right. I got you. I'm going to pass you the ball. I got you. I'm going to give you the ball eight straight possessions. So he don't come off at that. He laugh at himself. And he don't come off as a tough guy. So a lot of the, the stuff that you had people um, tuning in and laughing when you talk about Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson, it wasn't going to work with Gilbert. You know what I mean? So you should not even touched on that situation. You know what I mean? And so... Yeah, when you say you're from the people, you did help a lot of people. And and, and like like you said, I the reason why I've still got like a little thing, 
like, you know what I mean, with Kwame, I'm still kind of like, fuck with Kwame in a sense. Because Kwame, I do believe he has a heart. I do believe he wants to do right. And he, he first thing Charleston White said, basically called Kwame stupid. Oh, you you do um, videos and stuff, and you don't give nobody no strikes. You don't do this. You don't do that. Like, people come one minute when the celebrity, you say, oh, this person got all this money. And other people use his content. Now, had he, Kwame would have been striking people and doing all this stuff there, trying to get people channel, the, they channel get taken down. First thing people would have said was, oh, he broke or he this and that. And people would have went, would have been mad at that. He did a thing that, yo, I don't care. I, you could use my channel. I don't care. Use my content. I don't care. I'm getting paid too. He still was getting paid. And he was like the people chant when it came to that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't really have time. I don't be blocking dudes. I don't really have time for all that, that internet stuff, the real details of it. So, you know, it's like Kwame's like, damn, you do, damn, you don't. But you you got a clown like Charleston White to come to sit there and say, oh, yeah, he had everybody using his, his, his content and he ain't strike them. This is the thinking of these guys. Charleston White talks tough, but he, I don't think he, he built like that. He's talk tough and he, he real slick with his mouth. And he, all the stuff he sent Kwame do, I seen him do. He'd be up there talking about niggas all in his video. Niggas this, niggas that. He might not do it to the level Kwame do it far as like respond to everything, but he still do it. He do the same thing, talk about dudes and stuff all the time too. The same shit. But he trying to come off like he's some big man. Like, I don't got time for all this. They peons. You, you looking at peons. See, that's the problem with people. People look at people. He call them peons. Yeah, skinny is a peon, but I'm just saying in general, forget skinny. You can't go by, you look at somebody, oh, because they numbers or this and that, they peons. Like, you can't look at that. So, that's the problem with most people where they fall at. I Right now, it could be somebody at 35 subscribers. If I watch his channel and I've looked at maybe six or seven of his videos and he consistent, he sound like he knows sports. And he good at, I like, damn, he know what he's talking about. I rock with him. You can't always look at, oh, with some of my numbers, that means he's not good at what he do. You can't look at that. And that's the problem most people do. Oh, I'm not going to acknowledge you. You got 3,000 subscribers. So I'm not going to acknowledge you. I'm not going to say your name. But a clown, a no good dude, he had 30, 40,000 subscribers. Oh, you feel all oh, this benefit you. I'm going to say his name and get his people to come over here. When you get in them numbers games and try to be too detailed in it, instead of you going with the real and the fake, and see, that's why I think I'm going to be long-lasting because I'm standing on my square and I'm going to keep it real. I don't get into the back and forth. I just don't do that. I don't do that. I pick and I know better. I've been in a battlefield, in a real, real battlefield. I ain't, I'm I, I getting older. You know what I mean? And I'm, I don't say too much, but like I said, I've been in the battlefield. You know what I mean? I thank God that I'm still alive. You know what I mean? I lost a lot of homeboys, a lot of homeboys to gun violence. You know what I mean? And I'm still here. And it's not like I'm a, a, a guy that's, you know what I mean? An older dude that's in the way. I'm not in the way. I'm still very much relevant out here. Respected by the young boys. I'm highly respected out here. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just a guy that's in the way. I, it's not that. You know what I mean? But the point I'm making is I, I'm smart enough. I know to pick and choose my battle. I would never get into a back and forth with a Charleston White or 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 um, Tommy Sardamaya, these type guys, because you get in the back and forth, it don't benefit you. These guys is, is, is lame. They weak. And you will seem like you 6'11". You will seem like a bully if you put hands on them. So it's really... The back and forth, it's really no need to do it. You know what I'm saying? And, and for me, I don't know these guys, and chance of me bumping to them is, is you know, always a chance. I move around, I go, I move around, so it's a chance I can probably bump into somebody, like, you know, just being out the parties, clubs, going to different states. But it, this is a no, no one win situation. You got to know how to pick and choose your battles, have to know when to do, when not to do. Know yourself. You got to know yourself. Like, for instance, right, a lot of people, oh, Kareem, I want to see you and Bang um, 
debate. I want to see y'all debate. I want to see y'all debate. Ooh, ooh, right? Now, I don't, debating is really, number one, that's really not me. So this me knowing myself, that's really not me. Just debate, period. I like, I don't really like debate on a player. I'm more like teams to talk about the landscape of the, the league. You know what I mean? But I know that's not my strength, right? He good at what he do, right? Now, he talk loud and he's aggressive, right? And, and he said that. He said, yo, that's how I am. He said, that's how he is. Some people is just like that. They just loud and, 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 and you know, they talk aggressive. But, you know, not that they trying to be disrespectful or nothing, but they just like that. Now, me knowing he he said it. He said it one time we was in a, in a panel together. He said, that's just him. And, and, and some people just like that, you know, that just their character. Now, I already know. And let's say if I, why would I put myself in that position? I know how I am. Now, I already know if we was to do it in, in, in that loud, aggressive stuff, I already know I'm not going to like that. I'm not going to feel that. And, you know what I mean? The, now the words can go somewhere that it don't need to be going to, right? So, and then another thing, he stands on his square with LeBron James. You know what I mean? LeBron James has uh, a lot. He has a lot of people that he have like a cult following that fucks with him when it comes to LeBron James, right? I think Michael Jordan is a better player, but I'm I'm not. I never was a big Joe. I never cared for Jordan. To be honest, I never cared for Jordan. I didn't really like Jordan for a long time. I didn't like Michael Jordan, but I think he's a better player. But I'm, I I know getting to that debate. I know number one, nine times ten, I would probably lose that debate because I don't have time to be looking up everybody numbers and 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 look up LeBron numbers to see where I could attack LeBron. I don't have time for all that. So instead of avoiding the for me to get into a situation, I'd rather not do it. See, that's the point I'm trying to make. And this shout out to uh Bang. Like, you know what I mean? I have nothing against him. I think outside of basketball, if I was to meet him, I think man him would probably be cool outside of basketball. Like cause we his views and my views might not match on everything when it comes to sports, but outside of sport, I think, you know, I don't know him at all, but I think maybe we probably could be all right. You know what I mean? Just a shout out to him. But the point I'm trying to make is you do, you have to understand situations. You got to understand situations and you have to know when to pick and choose your battle. You have to be comfortable in your skin. That don't make you soft. That don't make you, uh, not knowing that I'm well knowledgeable about basketball. I don't think nobody could really fuck with me when it comes to this NBA thing. You know what I mean? But I know that's not my lane going back and forth debating. You know what I mean? Like for instance, FYF, um, he looked out and he shared my live and a lot of his people came join my live. Now let's say me and him was to get into a disagreement. I would never come on a line and, and be going F him and start going in on him. I would never do that. You know what I mean? I just be like, you know what? I If we don't rock with each other, I won't rock with him. He won't rock with me. Now, if he start going loud, woofing and going crazy, of course, I'm going to say something, but I wouldn't do that. That's the difference between guys like me and guys like Mr. Skinny and, and, and these type guys like that. They live for that. You know what I mean? And that's what I'm saying. Kwame, I, like I said, he got a bad judgment of people. You know what I mean? A poor judgment to that. You have to know who you dealing with at all times, man. You have to know. You have to know. I will never, like I said, it, it, of course it would benefit me with a guy like Mr. Skinny. I mean, a guy like uh, Tommy. Tommy Sotomayor. But I wouldn't, that dude crazy. I'd be like, yo, fam, you got that. I don't need, because at the end of the day, because most of the time, the subscribers who fight, if I entertain a back and forth, they only gonna be there for the back and forth. And my platform not built on that. So after it die down, what gonna happen? They not gonna watch me no more. So that's what I'm saying. You got to know these things. So Kwame Brown watching this, I think this, I think this is gonna really be bad for him, cause his his he got over four hundred thousand subscribers. He be getting like twenty thousand views. Some some video I saw like seventeen thousand. Some I saw like six or seven thousand. 
he it, it, it just dropped crazy that's like me with 3,000 views every time I'm upload I'm getting like 60 views and things that's that's not good if that happens so you know what I mean you gotta that's what I'm saying it's bad and, and you know you put yourself in these, these positions but this just gonna look bad because now I know um Tommy gonna use that thing against Kwame that how how um Charleston White went against him skinny gonna use it and all the people who are against him is going to sit there and, and, and go against him with that. He made a bad mistake going against Gilbert. He should just left Gilbert in Rome. And I wouldn't even entertain Tommy. Let Tommy, he should just let Tommy kept talking. Say one or two things, and that's it. And now these guys is really walking you down and, and, and destroying you. Because Carcino, at the end of the day, Carcino going to be all right. Carcino, one thing I can say about him, and I've said this before, you got to know who you're dealing with. Carcino, know what he's doing. Carcino is pretty smart. He's he going to always have content because he gives off that he's knowledgeable about the music game. So he'll tell you all about what happened with these rappers, the truth, what happened with this. So people think he's highly knowledgeable about the music game, highly knowledgeable about boxing. That you know, he, he showed pictures. He was Floyd. He he he's a boxing fan. He supposed to be knowledgeable about basketball. Just everything. So now he cover all type of topics, and occasionally he jump in do a little drama here and there. So he gonna be all right at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna be all right, and he he doing much better than what what, what Kwame Brown doing. So Carcino is is, you know what I mean? When you align yourself with that, he's not gonna go too too hard with it he's smart enough to know that he known his base his his fan base his, his content he he putting out he comfortable with that so basically what i'm saying is you gotta in life people in life period pick and choose your battles man don't if you're a certain type i'm a type of dude I can't win those battles because I'm not with the back and forth, all that. The back and forth, I'm not. That's never been me. That's not me. So for me to do it, to be like, oh, fuck it, I can get views. Yeah, that's short-term gain. But then it, I'm open myself where it could destroy me too. You know what I mean? I'm not going to see these guys. I'm type of, I'm, we not, I don't do the back and forth arguing. We're going get, to get the pushing, we get the fighting, and that's that. Cause it, go, it gets it gonna get disrespectful, and I don't disrespect nobody, but it, it gonna get disrespectful. Cause them guys gonna be disrespectful. That's their thing. They like to be disrespectful. They get overly disrespectful. I would never feel comfortable talking about nobody's kids, nobody's mom, and things like that. They don't have no problem doing that. So you got to understand these things, man. If you're a real type of dude and you standing on morals and principles, and and you really about that, I ain't saying about no thug street shit but this is really about that you can't argue with suckers like that Tommy Skinny um, Charleston White like if he's smart I wouldn't even go at Charleston White I just leave it alone I'm Kwame don't even respond let him say that just, just, just let y'all just don't fuck with each other don't even go at because his mouth is slick and he, he gonna keep now you got another dude then you went at Gilbert I like Gilbert you know what I mean but you know what I mean? You you put some of this on yourself. So, people, like, subscribe. I just my thing is I just hope I get to some people and let them understand, you know what I mean, in life. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not pick and choose your battles, man. It don't make you who you is, especially over this internet guys you don't even know. That's worse. It's one thing y'all on the same circle, then a lot of people wouldn't be talking that. But on the internet they can hide, they're in different states. Yeah, they could be, like the arm. Um, you could be who you want to be. Like, come on, man. Be all you could be. Like, come on. Just leave it alone. I need you guys to like, subscribe. You know what I mean? Y'all know how we do run the numbers up. If it goes slow, it goes slow. But I'm, I'm here for the long grind. Peace.